When working with CSS, it's important to understand the concept of the box model. The box model is a fundamental aspect of CSS that describes how HTML elements are structured. The term box model is used when talking about design and layout. In simple terms, the box model is like a box that wraps around every HTML element on a web page. It consists of four main components, margins, borders, padding, and the actual content of the element. Let's start with margins. Margins are the space around an element, creating a gap between it and other elements. They provide separation and can be used to control the overall spacing and positioning of elements on the page. Borders, borders surround the padding and content of an element. They can be styled with different colors, thicknesses, and styles, such as solid, dashed, or dotted lines. Borders help define the visual boundaries of an element. Padding, padding is the space between the content and the element's border. It provides additional room within the element and can be used to create internal spacing and improve readability. Content, the content refers to the actual text, images, or other media contained within the element. It is the core part of the box and is displayed within the padding and borders. Understanding the box model is crucial for precise control over the layout and design of web pages. By adjusting margins, borders, and padding, you can achieve the desired spacing, alignment, and visual appearance of elements on your website. Let's begin by using a less than h1 tag with the text CSS box model to create a heading. To add an image, we'll use the img tag in the src attribute to give the image path which is image.jpg and set the width to 450 pixels, assigning the lt attribute as image. Finally, we'll include a div tag with some random text. Now, it's time to style these elements. First, we select the div element and set its width to 420 pixels. Add 10 pixels of padding to create some space between the content and the border. The border is set to 5 pixels, using a solid line with the color light coral. Finally, we set the margin to zero, ensuring there is no extra space around the element. When you look at the box, it may seem like it has a width of 420 pixels, while the image has a width of 450 pixels. But here's the interesting part, the actual widths of the image and the text box are the same. Let's break it down. The box itself has a width of 420 pixels. We've added padding to all sides of the box, which means there are 10 pixels of padding on both the left and right sides. So, this adds a total of 20 pixels to the box's width. Additionally, we've set a border of 5 pixels. This means that the border extends 5 pixels on each side, resulting in a total width of 10 pixels. As a result, the total width of the div element is 450 pixels, which matches the width of the image. This creates a cohesive layout where the image and text are aligned and visually balanced. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.